Whoa. <laughs> Thank you so much for the positivity with my last video. <laughs> that was wild. I want to make more videos like that in the future, but it will take some time. So it's only downhill from here, boys. <laughs> Let's get this started. But first, a disclaimer. I'm a fresh cock. I might say hyperbolic things when I derail. I'm also a dumbass. I got my mind set on you. I got my mind set on you. I got my mind set on you. Got my mind set on you. But it's gonna take money. A whole lot of spending money. It's gonna take plenty of money to do it right, child. It's gonna take What happened? Games fucking suck now. What happened? Games used to be my most favorite thing in the world when I was a little spurg tadpole and I played it all day, every day, anywhere I could get my hands on them. They brought so much enjoyment and were filled to the brim with the passion and dreams of the developers to bring you the most satisfactory experience one could conceive sitting on the floor mat, drinking coke and eating chips, getting your control all greasy and sweaty. It was amazing. The surge of games that came out and the technical strides made it possible for even the smallest of teams to bring their fantasies and worlds to life on a screen and make it not just a story, but an interactive adventure. You were no longer passively appreciating an art form. You, the player, was a part of the art on the screen. Every player got to see something different, and as a result, the game could be almost whatever you made it out to be. Gaming quickly became the biggest entertainment industry in the world. The internet frees us from the limits of retail purchases and allows us to consume content the world over. But most importantly, it allows us to play games together with others on a massive scale. The MMO blew up to be the most played games. It gave the player not a fully tailored experience, but simply provided them with a world and a rule set that came with it, allowing the players to reside within it and play with the rules, exploit the rules, and become the best of the best if you played your cards right becoming revered, even in the real world. Fast forward to today and you'd think we'd have even more power, bigger budgets and larger communities, sharing even more inspired worlds, crafted with the skill and compassion of the hundreds of veteran developers. <laughs> what are you stupid? You fucking idiot. Games today are garbage. There's no more passion in making big games anymore, they just want your money. They want to suck you dry and then suck you off some more. But since we all grew up with amazing games, we've kind of become dependent on them. It's like a bad relationship. We try to leave, but we always come back for more, like the degenerates we are. And the game publishers know that. The shareholders know that. And even I know that. And they use it against us. We're a wallet to them with the cash to make more cash, the single digit on their scoreboard that counts all the souls they've reaped. Almost every single game that comes out now are riddled with microtransactions, pay to win elements, pre-order bonuses and whatever other sinister means to kick you in the balls with. And I'm sick of it. But the fucking red paladin that I am, I tried playing Battle for Azeroth Endgame after I was done recording some videos. Yeah, I know. I was desperate. As soon as I logged in, I stood there. Now what? What the hell was I gonna do? All the gear I had was now below Mythic Dungeon Eye level. All my Azeroth gear was outdated, and the traits had changed drastically. What the fuck was the point of me turbospurging the first couple of months of BFA? 
if all my shit is useless as soon as another patch hits. I was done before I even stepped foot outside the main hub. What a tragedy. Not just the game, but me as well. I was already aware BFA was shit, but I logged in anyways. I guess he is desperately want World of Warcraft to be good. I keep deluding myself its glaring problems don't exist. I feel that the game panders to whales, casual collectors and the sensitive snowflakes that can't handle anything challenging. <laughs> I honestly don't know why they want World of Warcraft to be easier than it already is. It's already come to the point where you can go from level 1 to 120 doing the same repetitive dungeons through LFG, be raid ready and get full normal raid gear without saying a single word. That's not good. That's dog shit game design. When communication is optional in an MMO, you know it's already dead. Damn it. <laughs> Wake me up from this matrix. This dystopian world where I can't find any enjoyment in what I love. I just hope the new Blizzard don't touch classic with the filthy microtransactions and just release a good product for once. Relying solely on the quality of the game to bring in money. All the big companies became big because they had passion and faith that their game would bring it in because the games were good. It's funny how something so simple is so easily forgotten. I'll stick with the last remaining quality games that are still out there. <laughs> I'm probably never gonna buy anything that contains any form of microtransactions in a box-priced game again. I'm pulling out of the publisher's chicken coop. <laughs> I'm out. And I hope some of you agrees with me. Even if just a little. <clears throat> but as I sit here and look at my script, I hesitate. I'm not sure if I'm worried about the reception or of the reality of what I'm saying entails. Is what I'm saying even true? Or am I afraid of the aspect I might just not like games anymore? Have I truly turned into a boomer? Whenever I have these thoughts, I remind myself of the games that stand out to me. Dark Souls 1 through 3, The Witcher 1 through 3, Darkest Dungeon and of course Sekiro. They are my favorite modern games. From Software and CD Projekt Red is some of the last remaining companies that are confident enough in the games to not corrupt them with microtransactions. I hope more follow suit whenever this whole nightmare blows over. So yeah, games in general suck, but the good ones, they are magical. Thank you for watching. I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, any great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do.